You just can't walk in here and just preach any old thing, can we? <laughs> because we've had a word today. And we've had a word from, for, for 20 years that, that it's going to be hard to capture in. But I thank God that I've been part of it. I thank the Lord that, it, that I'm able to be in the house of the Lord one more time. To, just to tell uh, God that I love Him and I appreciate Him. And I was thinking, you know, Al, that uh, the Bible says those that are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. That's what the Bible says. And I was thinking, you know, uh, how that uh, if we're led by God, then God's got to be the driver. Ain't he? He's got to be the driver. Ain't you seen cars today that's got a sign on the front of them that says, God is my co-pilot? You know what that tells me? That they're doing the driving, God's in the back seat. That's what that tells me. But you know what? God ain't that way. He wants us to let Him be the driver, don't He? Now I was thinking, I said, Lord, you know, that's why a lot of people, they end up in the mess that they're in is because they're trying to do the driving, God's in the back seat, you know. Then when we get in trouble, then we go to home for God to, uh, to help us out. But I want God to be my pilot, don't you? I don't want Him to be my co-pilot, but you know what? I see a lot of signs today on people that say God is my co-pilot. And then Brother Gary, we wonder why that they end up in the mess they're in is because they're wanting to do the driving, put Him in the back seat, but that ain't going to work, is it? I believe tonight that God's got a people uh, that's going to let Him be the driver, that's going to be led by the Spirit of God. And I'm going to tell you, if we can let God lead us, we'll never go down the wrong road, will we? I don't believe that we will, but I'm telling you today, we need a God that, uh, that, will, that we will let take over our life, and no matter what He says, that uh, uh, we're going to let Him do it. And we, we may not be able to see uh, uh, how far down the road we can see, but uh, we know that we're on the right road. Don't you? I know, the, uh, Brother Gary, that I'm on the right trail. Why? Uh, because I'm letting the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, uh, uh, lead and guide me each day of my life. Uh, and we wonder why sometimes that we end up in trouble is because that we're letting the flesh uh, take us down the wrong road. Uh, I'm going to tell you something tonight. Uh, the flesh will lead you right into the pits of hell. Uh, but I thank God tonight uh, that you've given us a word down through the years uh, that we can look and say, devil, this is not the way uh, that God wants me to go. You know, that's what we got to look at. we got to look at the word of God. We need to rip the sign off and say, God, you are my pilot. That's why I want to be my pilot, don't you, is Jesus. Because, Sister Missy, if I can learn to let him be my leader and my guide, or we'll never get in trouble with God. Sometimes we get in a mess because we're hard-headed, we're stubborn, we're rebellious. Then when we get in trouble, we want God to run and bail us out. And God's telling us all the time, huh, it's your own doing. Brother Frankie, if I end up on the wrong road, it ain't your fault. It ain't the pastor's fault. It's my own fault because huh, I would not hearken to the voice of God. I, I love him, don't you? I appreciate God, this message that, that God's laid on my heart. I, he laid it on my heart sometimes back. And, and I thought that, I thought for sure that Brother Gary was going to get on a Sunday. I was sitting there scrum. I said, Lord, don't let him preach this message. Because he, uh, he, he, he actually got right down in our word where God had given it to me. And I said, Lord, I want to preach this message. <laughs> but I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord and I love him. Give him a hand, would you? But God knows what he's doing, don't he? He's in control of everything, man. I love Him and I appreciate Him and I praise Him for being my God. I love Him, don't you? I find that He is everything that I need in life. And I want to do more for God, don't you? Brother Gary, I want to do more. I've been, uh, I was, uh, I was, uh, uh, had a dream the other night and I dreamed that I was out in some water working and the first night I was out in water about up to my knees and I was digging a hole to pour some concrete in. And the next day I went out to work, I, I went out into the water. It was probably up to about right here, you know. And God spoke to me the scriptures in Ezekiel that, you know, how that, how that uh, they measured out a thousand uh, uh, cubits and they was in ankle deep water. Then they measured out another thousand. They was in knee deep and up to their 
loins and they was in water that, that they couldn't compass. That's where I want to get, don't you? I want to get where God's got total control of me and I love Him and uh, I just want to do more for God, don't you? I tell you, the Word will make us the Word will make us strong. But we've got to eat it all. We can't just take part of it, but we've got to eat the whole book. But if you want to read with me, go to Luke chapter 22. Luke, Luke chapter 22. When you have it, say amen. 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 Alright, we'll start at verse 54. And the Bible says, Then they took him and led him and brought him into the high priest's house. And Peter followed afar off. And when they had kindled a fire in the midst of the hall and were set down together, Peter sat down among them. <coughs> but a certain maid beheld him as he sat by the fire and earnestly looked upon him and said, This man was also with him. And he denied him, saying, Woman, I know him not. And after a little while, another saw him <coughs> and said, Thou art also of them. And Peter said, Man, I am not. He was getting upset, wasn't he? Yeah. And about the space of one hour after another, confidently affirmed, saying, Of a truth, this fellow also was with him, for he is a gathering. And Peter said, Man, I know not what thou sayest. And immediately while he yet spake, the cock crew. And the Lord turned and looked upon Peter, and Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said unto him, Before the cock crows, thou shalt deny me thrice. It means three times. And Peter went out and wept bitterly. And the men that held Jesus mocked him and smote him. And when they had blindfolded him, they struck him on the face and asked him, saying, Prophesy, who is it that smote thee? And many other things, blaspheming, they spake they against him. Give the Lord a hand and you can be seated if you want. <laughs> but I want to preach to you uh, just a little while tonight from verse 60 where the Bible says, and Peter said, man, I know not what thou sayest. And immediately, and this is where I want to preach to you at, while he yet spake, the cock crew, crowed. And I just, want to, I just want to preach to you a little while tonight on the crowing rooster. On the crowing. Remember saying that the other day? Did rooster ever crow on you? I was thinking, I said, Lord, don't let me get on this message. <laughs> but God's been dealing with me on that message for some time. And, and this is the word that the Lord laid on my heart. And I've got a little thing right here in this bag uh, uh, I'm going to use for a demonstration, okay? And uh, that way you can, you can see this. But I'm just glad to be in the house of the Lord tonight. I thank God for you for a rooster that will crow. And I'm going to set this little rooster right here, okay? And I'll give you more. But I, I just want to preach to you a little while tonight on the crowing rooster. How that sometimes that we need a rooster in our life, don't we? And I thought, you know, Brother Gary, as I was uh, meditating on this message, uh, cookie, uh, one of Cookie's grandkids brought, brought an old rooster in there and and I got to watch him fooling with him. He's mean. He's mean. He'll hit you. He'll, he'll run up and hit you, you know, if he catches your head turned. But I remember as a boy growing up how that they used to fight roosters and how they used to take them, Frankie, and they would cut their spurs off and, 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 and they would take them to a fight and they would put big old long, what they call knives on them, about four or five inches long, and they would be razor blades. And they would put them in a in the pit and they would fight these roosters. But I, I don't want my rooster to be bullied, do you? I don't want to have a rooster in my life, Brother Gary, that's gonna that's gonna bully somebody else, that's gonna hit somebody else, that's gonna that's gonna mistreat somebody else. But tonight God has placed a rooster in your life 
And I want you to understand that when that rooster crows, we better take knowledge of what it's a crowing about. And I, I remember one time we had one. I, I try to hurry and get into the message. But I, I remember one time when, the, when my kids was growing up and we used to have one. And it seemed like Brother uh, TJ that when I was off on the weekend, I'd be tired and more out. Uh, that old rooster, he would come right down to my bedroom window uh, before almost before daylight, and he would start crowing. He would make me so mad that I want to take a shotgun out there and blow him in two. But, uh, but you know what? That's what the flesh wants us to do. The flesh don't want us uh, to listen to what uh, what God is trying to speak. The Bible said that God took the foolish things of the world uh, to confound the wise. But you know, I'm glad tonight. Uh, to know that God is still your God, and you that He uh, that He loves me just as much as He does uh, uh, anybody else, much as He did Peter. And I begin to think how that Peter, uh, uh, how that Peter began to deny God. Uh, uh, you, were, I thought, I said, Lord, you know, look like He would have thought uh, the first time that He heard the rooster crow, and uh, that He wouldn't go on and deny Him again. But uh, but He did not understand. I guess He must not hear the rooster. I don't know, but uh, but that rooster crow. Peter kept on denying God. And the second time the rooster crowed, Peter kept on denying God. A man, I don't know who he is. I, I don't know this man. You know, that's what the devil wants us to do is to deny our Lord and our Savior. But I, I, I want the devil to know, I thank God, uh, and that there's a rooster in my life that when it crows, uh, uh, that I'm going to take knowledge, Brother Gary, that, uh, that God is uh, trying to warn me of something. Uh, but when, that, uh, when, when Peter heard that rooster crow uh, the third time, I believe that rooster crowed louder than he ever did. Uh, I believe that he had a different crow, don't you? Uh, to Tonight, God will warn us time and time and time again, uh, but we will not take heed to what God uh, is uh, trying to show us. But tonight, uh, uh, if God lives in your life, uh, uh, He's placed a rooster in your life. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, when the rooster crows, uh, uh, we better listen uh, and begin to search our life and see uh, uh, what, what we are doing wrong. Uh, I tell you tonight, uh, uh, we're all in this old flesh and we're going to make mistakes. Uh, uh, we're going to fall. We're going uh, to uh, uh, come up short sometimes. But when the rooster crows, I want to know that God is still you got mercy on me. That He still you loves me. That He placed something in my life. And that when my flesh gets out of whack, I can hear a crow of a rooster. And in the night church, we better listen to what God is trying to tell us. I don't want to be stubborn and rebellious when I hear the rooster crow. And then I keep on going my merry way. I tell you tonight, they the rooster a crowing in a merry uh, they get back on their knees, but they will not uh, hearken to the crow of uh, the rooster. The uh, church tonight, God is real. Uh, he's got a people that love Him. Uh, he's got a people that's in tune uh, with the Spirit. Uh, when the devil tries to get us uh, to do something wrong, Brother Frankie, uh, I can hear a rooster, don't you? Uh, a crow, and I say, uh, uh, no, devil, this ain't going to work uh, because I hear uh, the voice of the Almighty God. Uh, tonight, we better hear uh, what God is trying to tell us in this hour that we in. The crowing rooster. He'll crow. He'll crow and you can hear him. He's got a loud voice. Uh, the closer you get to him, the louder that he is. Uh, and I was uh, thinking, I said, Lord, uh, uh, on the day of Pentecost, uh, it was noised abroad. Uh, it was very noisy. Uh, and that old rooster sometimes, uh, uh, he'll crow. Uh, and he gets very, very loud. Uh, ain't it funny today? Uh, they don't want you to make a noise in the house of God. Uh, they don't want you uh, to even say amen to the Word of God. Uh, but I thank God tonight uh, that God's got a few good men and women left. Uh, that's going to praise him uh, because the rooster is a crow and, uh, and we better take heed to what the rooster is a crow about. I don't have to have somebody to tell me uh, that I'm a doing wrong. I don't have to have uh, um, uh, a preacher to tell me uh, I better not do it. It's good to have uh, the five-fold ministry. We need them. Uh, we got to have a pastor. Uh, we got to have preachers uh, to preach the Word of God. Uh, they ain't a preaching to tear you down. Uh, we're a preaching to build you up. Uh, that when the rooster crows, uh, you can go to the Word of God uh, and find what's wrong in our life. Uh, and I begin to wonder and I begin to hear the Word of God. Uh, 
that begin to speak throughout the, all the word of God. I can read where the rooster crowed, where they rebelled against the crow of the rooster. And Brother Gary, I begin to think when God sent a word down to Hezekiah and told him to get his house in order. You know what Hezekiah heard? He heard the rooster a crow. He knew it's time to get down to business with God. We need to pray like we never prayed before. And the Bible said that he turned his face to the wall and he began to pray. He began to cry. And because there's a rooster crowed and he knew it was time to get down to business with God. I thank God tonight for the old rooster that crows in my life. I'm not perfect. Sometimes I get out of whack with the Word of God. Sometimes I get rebellious. Sometimes the devil tries to put a spirit on us. But I can hear the rooster crowing. You know what it causes me to do when I hear the rooster crowing? It causes me to hear my order. I say, God, help me to shake this thing. The rooster is crowing. We better hear the voice of God and tonight God is real and he's got a church that loves him, that's going to obey his word, that's going to do what he's commanded us to do we may not be very well liked to the world, but that's alright anyhow, the world says they're going to heaven, but I'm going to tell you something, we better have it like the Bible says, we better have the spirit we better be born again of the water and of the spirit, and they the rooster that's a crow in your life. We better take the word of God and begin to apply it to our life. What's wrong with a lot of people? And the reason they don't hear the rooster, they're not a feeding him right. My rooster's got to have the word. He's a peculiar rooster. He ain't going to eat just any old thing. That's what's wrong with the world today. They're eating anything that goes. And they wonder why that our rooster's not a crow. I'm going to tell you, they're feeding him polluted bread. The rooster I'm preaching about tonight, it takes the word of God to keep him a crow. It takes the word of God to keep us in line with his spirit. Yeah. David, David was a man after God's own heart. David displeased God. The Bible says that David went out on the king's roof and he and he looked down and he seen a woman taking a bath. Uh, and the word says that David sent after her. And they brought her to David. See, David should have heard the rooster of crowing. He wouldn't have got in the mess that he got in. And the Bible says that, and that she come to David, they brought her to him. Uh, and he went in and laid with her. She went back home. Uh, and just a little while later, uh, she sent a word and told David that she was uh, conceived that she was with child. Uh, and I can tell you right now, uh, I believe David to hear the rooster, don't you? Uh, and I'm going to show you what he did. Uh, and the Bible says uh, that David, uh, he began to hear the rooster crowing. Uh, he began to get uh, all tore up because uh, he knew what he'd done wasn't right in the eyes of God. Uh, but he heard the rooster crowing and his life. And the Bible says that he sent for Uriah the little woman's husband. He was down into battle. He was fighting the battle with Joab and the servant. And the word says that David sent down and told, told Joab to send Uriah to him. And when he come to David, the Bible said that David told him, I said, how is Joab doing? How is the people doing? How is the war prospering? See, David thought that he was slick, but there's a rooster crowing in his life, and he didn't know what to do about it. He tried to cover it up. Ain't that like a lot of folk today? We think that we got something here from God, but the Holy Ghost will tell on us. We need somebody to stand up and obey the Holy Ghost, obey the Spirit of God. When there's a rooster crowing in our life, we better find out what he's crowing about. And David hear this rooster crowing every time that David try to cover it up, I believe the rooster crowed it just a little bit louder. Amen. And the Bible says that David uh, sent him down to his house thinking that everything was going to be covered up. Yeah. And he sent him down to his house told him, he said, go down and wash your feet and stay home a few days, other words. But you know what he did? The Bible said that he left, he left David and when he went down, uh, he laid at the king's door uh, because he knew that that his 
that his Lord, the Joab, and all them was out in the field. They was protecting the ark of God uh, that was in Israel and Judea. Uh, but he did not go down to his house. Uh, and they come and told David, said, David, uh, uh, Uriah didn't go down to his house last night. Uh, uh, he slept on the king's door. All uh, uh, that rooster began to crow a little bit louder. Uh, I could just see old David uh, uh, going back and forth, uh, uh, wringing his hands, saying, uh, uh, What am I going to do now? Uh, uh, what am I going to do? Uh, the rooster is a crow. Uh, and the Bible said that, uh, that if David sent uh, and Joel and brought the little fella back to him, uh, and he begins said well you tarry here I said tomorrow you can go back down uh, to where Joab is and the Bible said that old David began to eat uh, and they began to drink uh, until he got him drunk uh, David got uh, uh, Uriah drunk thinking that it was going to be alright uh, well he'll go down to his house tonight uh, everything's going to be alright uh, but I'm going to tell you that rooster uh, was still in a crow in David's life uh, when he left the house uh, he went and stepped on uh, the king's door and you know what he did? Uh, David who was scared, tore all the pieces. Uh, he didn't know what to do. Uh, and the Bible said, be sure that your sins uh, will find you out. Uh, and the rooster was a crowing loud on David. Uh, I tell you tonight, uh, and God has placed a rooster in our life. Uh, we better know what he's a crowing about. Uh, and the Bible says uh, that David sent down uh, and told him, said, well, come on. Uh, I'm going to send you back down to the army. I'm going to send you back down to Joab. And David wrote a letter uh, and said, I want you to give this to, uh, to Joab. Uh, he said in the letter, uh, I want you to place uh, uh, Uriah on the front line, uh, right in the heat of the battle. Uh, and you know what he done? Uh, he carried his own death sentence out. Uh, but the rooster was still yet a crow. Uh, uh, church tonight, uh, uh, we can't hide from God. Uh, and God knows everything about us. Uh, he knows my uprising. Uh, he knows my downsetting. Uh, he knows my thoughts are far off. Uh, they the rooster in mind your life uh, when he crows uh, we need to find out what it is uh, sometimes uh, the devil tries uh, to take us down the wrong trail uh, but I thank God tonight uh, for the spirit uh, that he placed in my life uh, that old rooster uh, that they hate uh, that they fight against uh, he's a good brother Frankie uh, if we'll feed him the word of God uh, he will crow when the devil comes around uh, I tell you Jesus is real uh, and he's got a church that loves him. I want to be part of them, don't you? Lord, don't never take the rooster out of my life. Don't never, Lord, let me feed him the wrong food because he is important in our life. When he crowed the third time on old Peter, Peter recognized what was going on. Sometimes it's too late to recognize what happens. Sometimes we get wrapped up in the flesh and we don't hear the rooster crow. Uh, Peter was worried about himself. Uh, he didn't want them to beat and thump on him. Uh, he didn't want them to, uh, to whoop him uh, like they did Jesus. Uh, he denied God. Uh, but I don't want to deny my God to you. Uh, I want my Lord to be uh, uh, satisfied with me. Uh, I want to be able uh, uh, to hear my rooster crow. Uh, he said they have ears uh, and they hear not. Uh, and they have eyes and they see not. Uh, why? Because uh, they're dead. Uh, and their ears is dead to the Word of God. But I thank God tonight that there's something in our life that when it crows, we know there's something going on. I tell you tonight, church, we better listen to the voice of God when He speaks to us. Amen. David thought that he had everything covered up. But David paid dearly for the mistake that he done. He paid. It wasn't no mistake. But he paid dearly for the wrong that he done. The Bible said that she conceived and brought forth a child. And the child died. And David went before that child died. He, he fasted and he prayed. So praying that God would change his mind. But God didn't change his mind. The rooster was crowing on David. When we do wrong, somebody's got to suffer the consequences. I don't want, I don't want my uh, uh, children to suffer mine. Uh, consequences to you. I don't want my neighbor to suffer my uh, consequences. 
I don't want my mother and dad to suffer my consequence. When we stand before God, we're going to stand before Him for our own self and not another. But I'm going to tell you today, I believe that they go rooster crowing on America. God said, shall I hide this from Abraham? What I'm going to do. Abraham was a man of God. And Lot was his nephew. And Lot pitched his tent towards Sodom. And God began to tell Abraham what he was going to do. And Abraham said, Lord, I said, will you destroy it if I can find pity? But the rooster was a crowing on Sodom. I believe today that rooster is a crowing, don't you? On America, the nation that's permitting homosexual. It's all right for two men to get married. No, sir. The rooster is a crowing. It's all right for two women to get married. No, sir. The rooster is a crowing. It's all right for a man to go and be made to a woman. No, sir. The rooster is a crowing. And God was going to destroy the city of Solomon and Gomorrah. We are to look in the Word of God and know that God is a God that will not change. If God changes, if God lets America buy with what's going on, He's going to have to back up and resurrect Solomon and Gomorrah and give them another chance. But listen to me. The rooster was a crowing on Solomon and Gomorrah. It went all the way down to 10. There was a 10 people in that city that was right with God. How many of you here today said I'm a Christian? 99% of the people that you talk to said I'm a born again believer. But they want to rebel against Him. They want to fight against His Word. They want to fight against His name. I'm going to tell you they the rooster of crawling. We better find out what's going on. Amen. But the Bible says that that Abraham he began to look for him. He couldn't find. He couldn't even find ten people in that city that was right with God. Well, five. <coughs> but you know what they done? They got up like every other day. Every other day. But they was a, crew, a rooster crowing that morning. They was a rooster crowing. I believe that you could hear him pump throughout the city. And God began to let fire and brimstone uh, rain down on the cities of Solomon and Gomorrah. Uh, the cities around about them got burned up. Uh, why? Because uh, they refused uh, to hear the rooster crow. Uh, they reject the call uh, of the crow of the rooster. Uh, I'm going to tell you tonight, uh, if the rooster is crowing in your life, uh, you better not uh, uh, turn a deaf ear. Uh, you better say, God, what's going on? Uh, I want to know what's going on, don't you? Uh, when the rooster is crowing in my life, uh, I believe tonight uh, that when John was in the belly of the well. I believe that he hear the rooster, don't you, a crow? I believe that he hear that old rooster a crowing louder and louder every day. He began to pray, God, help me, Lord, get me out of this belly of hell. Help me, Lord, that I will never hold a deep ear to the rooster. A church we get in trouble because we will not let the Spirit of God lead and guide us. God spoke to him and said, I want you to go down to Nineveh. What did he do? No. Don't God tell us sometimes what to do, but we say no. We all do. Yes. We all say no. I don't, right. I don't feel like going to church tonight. I don't feel like reading my Bible today. I don't feel like uh, praying today. That's a rebellious spirit. Don't want us to defeat our rooster. We got to keep this rooster fed up with the Word of God. We got to keep him uh, in the Word of God. We got to keep him where the Word of God is being preached, uh, so that we know uh, that we're going to be able to stand. And I begin to think, Brother Frankie, when John uh, come out of that old fish's belly, uh, I don't believe uh, that he refused uh, to obey God no more. Uh, he was a blessed man. Uh, he was blessed because God had mercy on him. Uh, that when the rooster crowed, uh, that he refused to obey God, uh, and God prepared a fish uh, to swallow him up. I believe that he hear that old rooster crowing right in the belly of that well. I tell you tonight, God is able to help us to be an overcomer, ain't he? If we want to be an overcomer. How many overcomers do we have in the house tonight? The crowing rooster. Peter denied God when that rooster crowed three times. 
third time Peter heard that rooster, Jesus was looking at him. And he seen that what was taking place. And the Bible said that he went out and he wept bitterly. He wept bitterly because he denied of being with Jesus. I don't want to deny my God to you in no way at all because He is so good to us. He loves us so much and that we are to be able to say, Lord, I'm willing to go wherever Thou want me to go. How many feels like that tonight? I want to be able to say, Lord, help me. And that when I make a mistake, and when I hear the rooster crow in my life, and that I begin to back up and search my life and see what's going on. I see what I'm headed into. I'm telling you tonight and there's a lot of folk that's in a mess because they refuse to listen to the rooster when he crows. If Peter would have called on to the rooster the first time, I don't believe that that the rooster would have crowed no more to you. I tell you tonight God is able to help us to hear when the rooster crows. We've got so much going on in our mind, in our spirit, in the flesh limb of the spirit. We can't even hear and the voice of God and what's wrong and because flesh wants us to be lost and flesh is an enemy against God but I thank God tonight that there's a rooster in my life and brother Frankie when he crows I want to find out what he's crowing about I tell you God is real and when God began to speak to Noah I said no I want you to go out and be prepared me an hour God was a fix and destroy this whole earth with water and because of the rebellion Oh no, I hear the rooster crowing in it. He began to obey God. He began to work on an OR every day of his life. And the Bible says that when they all began to go into the ark, all the animals come and got into the ark. And Noah didn't have to run down the first animal. And the Bible said that they came on their own accord. And guess what? I believe the last one that went in the ark was an old rooster. I believe that he turned around right before that he entered into the ark and he gave a crow. And after that all hell broke loose. The church tonight, you better hear when the rooster is crowing in your life. You better know that God has placed something in your life. And that when the rooster crows, you better begin to search. You better begin to say, God, where am I headed? What am I doing? Sometimes when I hear the rooster crow, I gotta get to the word. I gotta say, God, what's going on? God will show us morning. He didn't place a rooster in your life. The crow for nothing. He placed it in your life. That you can walk down the street and go someday. I tell you, God is real. And he's got a rooster, Brother Frank, in our life. And I don't want my rooster jumping on yours either. We got some. That brings a rooster in. And they'll throw it down on yours. Because they don't want you to do good. They don't want you to be able to. And to do be used of God. They don't want you to be able to sing. They don't want you to be able to testify. They don't want you to preach in the Word of God. But I thank God tonight. I brought my rooster. Ain't you? And I'm a feeding the word of God. I'm a feeding the genuine word. And these old roosters, they fight. And they buy special feed for them. And they don't feed them just whole scraps. And like we did our old roosters. And they go out and they buy this high dollar expensive food. And they feed these roosters. Because it's got all the nutrition in it that this rooster needs. And when they take him out and set him down against another and they got confidence that he's going to win but they didn't want my rooster to eat my rooster is eating the word of God I want my rooster to be able to help the old rooster along when he's a dragon he can get behind and help and that's what we need today church we need to bring a rooster out and say God help me and my rooster will help somebody else but no we want to be hateful and overburn and turn our rooster on your own and let him for yours. No, sir. And God ain't pleased with that. And God wants you and I to take care of the rooster that he placed in their life. Thank God for the crowing rooster. And when he crows, brother, TJ, that I can hear him. I don't want him to crow four or five times before I hear him to you. I want to hear him the first time that he crows. I want to be able to say, God, help me to hear the first time that it crows. 
God placed a rooster in your life. He placed one in my life. When he crows, we need to listen. We need to stay where we can hear, where we can watch him and take care of him because uh, uh, he ain't going to eat just anything. Uh, and the Bible said that we're a peculiar people, uh, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Uh, and I tell you tonight, God uh, has got a church uh, that's built upon his word, uh, and that knows the word, uh, that's going to live by the word, uh, that desires the word. Uh, I believe that's why uh, and that we get the word like we do here uh, uh, because we desire the word. Uh, and we know what feeds the rooster, don't we? Uh, it's the word of God. Uh, a lie ain't going to help your rooster. Uh, it's going to cause him uh, to be rebellious. Uh, it's going to cause him uh, not to have a desire uh, to be in the house of God uh, where the word is uh, and the Bible said uh, and where the word of the king is uh, and that is power uh, your rooster has got power uh, don't reject when he crows uh, and listen to him uh, he'll crow brother Frankie uh, he's a crowing about something uh, I tell you tonight uh, when he crowed the third time on Peter uh, Peter realized uh, what had happened in him uh, he began to cry he began to weep before God. When, old, uh, when the rooster crowed on old, uh, old Judas, you know what he done? He went out and he hung himself for 30 pieces of silver. He crowed, didn't he? He crowed. He crowed on old Judas. Judas betrayed Jesus with a kiss. There's a whole lot of the train going on today a whole lot less than a kid, ain't he? Yeah. I thank him tonight because he's placed something in my life that I desire, that I want to take care of, don't you? I want to be able to take care of my rooster. I want to be able to feed him the Word of God because there's some devils out there that's going to take the Word to overcome, man. It's going to take the Word of God to overcome. When old Paul was on that road to Damascus, you know what he had? He had letters from the, from the high priest. He was going out. He was going to kill everybody, take them back into Jerusalem, bind them because they believed on Jesus Christ. and They believed on the gospel. But what happened to him that day on that old road to Damascus? The rooster crowed on him. Rooster crowed on him. The Bible said that, that that he heard a voice from heaven saying, Saul, Saul, why persecuteth thou me? You know what he said? He said, Who out thou, Lord? Yes. And Jesus spoke to him and said, I'm Jesus whom you persecute. A rooster crowed on him that day. But I can find out in the Word of God uh, and that when Paul uh, began to get his eyesight back about three days after, uh, uh, the Bible said that old Paul, uh, he began to preach what? Jesus Christ, didn't he? Uh, and that's what the devil don't like. Uh, he don't want you to preach the Word of God. Uh, he don't want us to be where the Word of God is. Uh, but I thank him tonight uh, that when the rooster crows, uh, uh, that I'm going to hear in you. Uh, I'm going to check myself. Uh, we got to examine ourselves uh, and see what's going on. Uh, and the devil is a slick old fellow. He'll try to come in. He'll place something in your life that you don't even know about. They're trying to get you in trouble with God. Don't the Bible said that he goes before the Lord night and day, accusing the brother? That's what he does. He he goes before God and saying, He ain't no count. He ain't no good, but God's saying, I've got a rooster in their life, devil. I've got a rooster there. When he crows, they're going to hear it. They're going to see what's going on. He's crowed on me before. And I thank God that he crowed and I heard him and I went and done something about it. Because Brother Frankie, flesh don't want to obey God. Flesh don't want to, he don't want to do what the Bible says. He don't want to live like and the Bible says he don't want to be obedient to the Spirit of God but I thank him tonight don't you that I've got the same rooster come back on the day of Pentecost how do you know preacher that you got the same one because I believe Jesus don't you it's the way the truth and the life I believe there ain't but one Lord one faith and one baptism if I preach anything besides that I'm going to hear a rooster crow in my life and I tell you tonight God it's got some preachers that 
that's not going to hold a deaf ear to the rooster. And we're going to do what he says. He's got some saints that's going to hear the rooster when he crows. And I tell you, Jesus is real. And he's placed a rooster in your life. And you better feed him the word of God. If they ain't preaching you the word of God, find you a place where your rooster can grow. Where he can crow. When something comes around. We need, we need the word of God preached to us stronger now than ever. We need a word from God that will that will purge us. That will help us to be strong in this hour that we're in. In this day that we're in. Church, I don't know about you, but I'm determined to make it, ain't you? I'm determined to make it. I've got to take care of my rooster, Frankie, when you because I need him in my life. I gotta have him in my life. Because I'm not a perfect man. I, I make mistakes. If I live long enough, I'll probably make some more. But I want my rooster to crow when I do, don't you? I want to be able to say, God, let my rooster crow. When I make a mistake, when I fail you, let him crow that I know to get back to my altar. When I'm rebellious, let him crow so I can get to the Word. I can get somebody that will help me to pray these devils off of us. And the Bible said that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities, against the powers and the ruler of darkness, a spiritual weakness in high places. And God has placed something in our life that's more precious than gold and silver. I want to be able to be used of God. And when God sent down, and when God sent down Saul to Amalek, and he told him, he said, I want you to go down there. I want you to destroy everything in the city. I want you to kill everything. It sounds cruel, but it was pleasing to God. Sister Lana, they had to kill babies. They had to kill sucklings. They had to kill the old. They had to kill everything down there. Everything. Animals. Every dog. Every cat. They had to kill every rooster. They had to kill it all. But you know what the you know what Saul did? The Bible said that when he went down there, the first thing he done that he told away God said, You better get out of here. See right there where he messed up. I believe that he heard the rooster crow, don't you? The Bible said that he that he that he spared Agak. And when Samuel come to him, Samuel heard something. He heard something. He said, here comes Saul and said, well, we have obeyed God. We have done what God told us to do. Lying. You can't lie. You got to tell the truth, don't we? Man. A lie will cause you to tell another lie. Yeah. And the Bible says that. Old Saul told him, said, we've, we've obeyed God. Yeah. Samuel knew. Samuel heard the rooster crow. Samuel said, What meaneth this then? The lowing of the oxen which I hear in the in the bleeding of the sheep. There's a rooster crowing that day on Saul. Saul said the people spared. See, he wanted to blame somebody else. Yes. When he was the head honcho. And that's the way it goes. We don't want the rooster to crow on us, but we want him to crow on you. Uh -huh. That's easier, ain't it? It's easier for him to do that. But Samuel heard a rooster crow that day on Saul. And he told Samuel, he said, Samuel, repent of me that I made Saul king. God didn't, he didn't like that. God don't want you to disobey him. No matter what you do, obey God. Amen. Don't reject it. Saul rejected God and he ended up getting in trouble. You can read the story about Saul, how that how these spirits come upon Saul and what he would do. There were about four or five spirits took over Saul and the last one that got a hold of Saul was a suicide spirit. He rejected the, con the rooster's crow. Amen. When you reject God, you're going to get in trouble. Yes. Saul would disobey God. Disobedience will get us in trouble every time. Mm -hmm. We may not be able to sing like somebody, but if God tells you to sing, you better sing. I can't preach like my pastor. I can't preach like a lot of people. But I'm going to obey God. Because if I don't, the rooster's going to crow. I don't want no rooster crowing on me to you. I want to be able to say, God, 
I want to be used of you. We want God to use us, uh, but we will not obey Him. We will not uh, say, Lord, I'm willing to give a, a, a two or three minute a testimony. We want to preach for an hour, uh, but we don't want to give a, a two minute testimony. What's wrong? Uh, the rooster is fixing to crow on us uh, if we don't obey the voice of God. Uh, and I begin to uh, uh, read the Word of God. Uh, and I've seen where uh, the Bible said that when Cain uh, arose and excluded his brother, Abel, you know what God told him? God sent a mark upon him. And he said, you will be a fusion, didn't he? You're going to be a fusion. And he began to tell God, say, God, the, uh, the, uh, the, this punch is greater than I can bear. But you know what? God was merciful to him. But God placed a rooster in his life, Brother Frankie, that he hear this old rooster. I believe that he hear the rooster crowing every day of his life. Every morning that he got up, I believe that he hear that old rooster crowing. Cain, you should have never done that. You should have never uh, uh, slew your brother. And we got a lot of that going on in the, in the church world today. Uh, we're slewing one another. What's wrong? Uh, the rooster is a crowing, but we're not a hearing him. We're not, we're not taking heed to him. Uh, if we'll take heed to the rooster that God has placed in our life, uh, uh, we can go somewhere with God. Uh, I don't want to be uh, uh, rebellious to you. I don't want my rooster to crow uh, and I pick up a rock. Uh, uh, Brother Frank and run him off. No, sir. Uh, I want to take care of him, don't you? I want to love him. Uh, I want to I wanna make sure that, uh, that he's uh, eating the proper food, uh, uh, the proper word of God. Uh, uh, we just can't leave but just on... Uh, uh, anything. Uh, it's going to take the Word of God uh, to get you and I uh, into the gates of that city uh, and that He went away to prepare. Uh, it's going to take a rooster in mind your life uh, and that we're going to have to listen to. Uh, when He crows, uh, we're going to have to say, Lord, uh, what's you crowing about? Uh, what's the matter, Lord? Uh, help me to see uh, what's going on. Uh, today, the rooster is a crow uh, and they're rejecting the crow uh, and they're holding a deaf ear to the crow. Uh, but to night church uh, we better listen uh, to the crow of the rooster uh, and if there's a rooster crowing in your life uh, uh, you better say God what's wrong uh, what's wrong with me Lord uh, I want to be able to make it don't you uh, I don't want my uh, rebellious brother Frankie uh, uh, to cause me to end up in hell uh, and God didn't die uh, that you and I would go uh, into a burning hell uh, uh, like the rich man did uh, uh, God gave him a chance uh, uh, but he refused to obey God uh, I believe that he hears the rooster, don't you? A crowing every day that he's uh, in his life. I believe that he hears that old rooster crowing uh, out of the pits of hell uh, because uh, he refused God. Uh, he disobeyed the voice of God. Uh, and God told him, uh, I said, uh, he come to him and said, Lord, what must I do to inherit life everlasting? And God told him, he said, sell everything that you got and strip it to the poor. That's what he told him. And the Bible said that he was very, very wealthy. But he missed God, didn't he? And the Bible said that he walked away sorrowful. He walked away sorrowful. He walked away with the rooster crowing in his life. I never did read the word he ever got right with God, did you? Never did find no more in the word of God where that he come back to God and he, and he got this life that God died for us to have. I don't want my rooster not crow when I do something to you. I want my rooster to crow when I make a mistake. The Bible said if any have sinned, let him have an advocate with the Father Jesus Christ, the righteous one. If, if any would sin. I ain't going to go out here and commit sin on you. He that commit a sin, the Bible said is of the devil. But if we, if we sin, he said, we have an after with the Father Jesus Christ, the righteous. I failed at you. I've heard the rooster crow before, Frankie, in my life. I've heard him crow, but I thank God that I can still hear him crow if I get out of the way. When me and my wife uh, end up in a little dispute, I can hear the rooster crow. Hush your mouth, but we won't hush. We've got to get the last word in. We've got to get the last word in the rooster the crow. That's why there's so many divorces, I believe, uh, in America today because we can't keep our mouth shut. We've got to get the last word. And the rooster is a crowing on us. Uh, but we will not uh, take heed to the rooster. I don't want my rooster to crow uh, and I rebel against him. But you, uh, if I had to shut my mouth uh, 
I swell up big as a barrel. I want to hear my rooster when he crows. I, I want to say, God, help me. I, and then I can be one of them I, that will walk down that street of gold. I, the church today, listen. I, and God loves you. I, he loves you so much I, and that he placed a rooster in your life. I, and that when you go to do wrong, I, and when you get out of whack and don't even know, I, I, you can hear the rooster crow. I, I thank him, don't you, because I, I, he loves me that much. I, and when Peter denied God, I, I, the rooster Rooster crowed. And old Peter realized it was too late. Peter, before the rooster crow thrice, you will deny me. I don't want to deny my God to you. And these people that deny God today, and the rooster is a crowing in their eyes, and they don't even hear why. It's because of their rebellious and because of their flesh. It don't want to be persecuted. The flesh don't want to be. It wants to be on the smooth street. It don't want to walk the straight. And narrow path. It don't like the rough road. It likes everything smooth sailing. But listen to me. This way is a good way. And the Bible said, seek out the old path. And when you find to walk therein, it's a straight and narrow path, honey. And there's a rooster on this path. And when we go to the left, he's going to crow. If we go to the right, he's going to crow. But I thank him tonight that there's a rooster in our life that will crow if we'll listen to it. I love him. I want to take care of my rooster. Don't you? I want to take care of him. I don't want him to eat just any old thing. I want him to eat the Word of God. Amen. I don't want him to eat this doctrine that's that's a seem right way. Right. It may look good. It may sound good. But is it the right food? Right. Is it the right thing to give your rooster? Will it cause you? Will it cause you to compromise on the Word of God? You know, eating polluted bread will cause you to compromise. Right. If you don't feed your rooster right, he ain't going to crow loud enough for you to hear him. He might crow a little bit. Haven't you seen some of these old roosters try to crow? They couldn't crow with a lick. <laughs> I've seen them, ain't you? We used yeah. to have some. Sound sick. Yeah, they sound sick. <laughs> but they some that would crow seem like they'd jar the ground, yeah. the ground man. Yeah. That's the kind I want, don't you? I want one when he crows that it would jar the windows out of the house, don't you? That way I know there's something going on. I've got to stay alert. We've got to be watchful. And we've got to keep our ears open. We've got to keep our eyes open 24-7. And we've got to know that, that we're on the right path. And the Bible said that they the way which seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof did the ways of death. I don't want to walk down that road, do you? I believe they do love the twin down that road. At the rooster crow and they kept right on going. But tonight, church, we better know that when the rooster crows, there's something going on. Uh, and there's something going on. The Bible says uh, it's the little foxes that spoils the vine out. But uh, sometimes he may crow uh, on something very, very simple that uh, we don't understand that we think he ain't no wrong in it. Uh, but I don't want to do anything uh, that's going to lead me down the wrong path. Uh, I don't want my rooster to crow uh, where I can't hear him. I want to be able uh, to stay where I can hear him crow, don't you? And I thank God tonight uh, that he give us something that, that will help us to be an overcomer. And we can say, Lord, help me to be an overcomer. Be an overcomer. That's what we ought to be. That's what we got a purpose in our heart. God, I can overcome this. I can overcome these trials, these storms. I can overcome these things that, that the devil tries to throw in my path that cause me to detour off of it. That's what the devil wants you to do. But every time that I walk out there and flesh a little bit, I can hear the rooster, can't you? Can you hear the rooster crow when you get out of the will of God? Yeah, amen. Like pastor preaches, the worst place to be is out of the will of God.